Can we get the SCX-10 Thread Gladiator to actually crawl like a rock crawler? These guys weigh 30 grams. These guys weigh nearly 130 grams. An extra 100 grams on each corner. That's got to count for something, right? If you want to find out, stick around. If you saw my SCX-10 III Gladiator review, you would have seen my disappointment at its crawling ability. It really was abysmal compared to the other current crop of crawlers that are out there. Because even though it got four out of six, it just did it so hard. I want to like this truck. I can't believe that the third generation of the rig that really was a big part of the start of this whole movement that you and I enjoy, I struggle to accept that it could be so bad on the rocks. It was so bad that I had to take another go at it on the rocks just to see if I'd made a mistake somehow. In our three-part in-depth tire test, we did find that the Nitto Trail grapplers weren't great, particularly on the trail, but on the rocks they were okay. But this still wasn't good enough. SEX10 is the name, it's the granddaddy in the modern crawling movement. Why was it so bad? Well, the next step was to get a little bit of weight down low. So my experiment today is to look at the difference between one of these and one of these. This is a tight course. Time starts now. So a tight course like this is actually quite challenging to a long wheelbase vehicle like the Gladiator. This being my third attempt. We've had two DNFs. That's a gate touch. That's alright, we'll take it. And we're going to use the dig because it's included in the vehicle. With a design like this, every little advantage is needed. The Gladiator, if you're considering the SCX-10 III, this is actually not a rock crawler, so much as a trail rig with some crawling ability. Despite the SCX-10 III's rich crawling heritage, we're going to eat that gate. That's alright. Oh no. That's a reset. That's 10 points. Ideally, we did clear the gate so I can reset back to that. Where were we? Through gate 5. Yeah, it's another gate touch. We can hit gates. In a competition, you'd incur a 10 point penalty. Because I'm filming and talking, it's, it is actually harder. And I found my results are not so good when I'm talking. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we can reverse this. We'll try. Oh, oh no. Okay, that's another reason. This, you can see why this is attempt number three. So, the back wheels need to be on the last gate you cleared. We'll fast forward this section. There's quite a bit of struggle here and you don't want to sit through that. The point is these wheels aren't helping any. We really had trouble getting the rig to be planted on the rocks as we went. But we got there eventually. Now I've got an SCX-6 on order, and the more I drive with this Gladiator, the more glad I am that the 6 is using the JL body, which is not as long as the Gladiator. Because it would really impede crawling. Another gear touch. And just like that, we have the new Enjora, Enjora? Enjora, Enjora wheels. They were an absolute snap to stick on. They look fantastic. And now this rig weighs uh, nearly half a kilo more. And that weight is nice and down low. So let's see how it goes on the course. Time starts now. Wow, okay. So it's already less bouncy or more planted. And these black rims, gosh, they look good. I'm gonna look, see if we can pull it around. Ooh, more controllable. Something's wrong here, we're stuck. Let's reverse. All right. Now, the, oh, it's a different rig. Actually, 
I have some brass front portal covers. You can get heavy and lightweight ones for the SCX Gen 3, which are the same axles as on the Capra actually. I've got heavier ones coming for the Capra, we're going to look at that soon because I had the Capra out yesterday with a friend and it struggled, so it needs a bit more weight to keep it planted in front. Let's just get closer and have a look here. Well, I bet it just pulls itself up. Ah, oh, I wanted it to. Well, okay. So this is one place where having more weight, the whole vehicle weighing more, is a problem because it has to hold the whole thing up. We're going to go across now. One wheel over. So both wheels over. Now that counts. The gate touch. It also counts as passing that gate. You just need one wheel from each axle. and you count the gate as cleared. Now this thing is less bouncy. I'll tell you what, this is a different rig. So you've got an SCX-10-3 Gladiator, and if you're like me, you're a bit dismayed at its rock crawling capabilities. Without changing any other thing, and I know I'm using a different radio, but it's still Spectrum, so it's the same gear, it's just a quality of life thing for me with all these trucks. Look at that. Without changing anything else, adding a bit more weight in those wheels, that might be your first stop for modifying this thing. Now that's a gate touch, but we've cleared it. Unfortunately, there's another reverse needed. But it does count. It pops back up on its wheels a little bit more easily, too. This is a revelation, actually. Look at that. Now, time 2 minutes 23. Not only is it more sure-footed, there's a reverse, it's also a lot more planted. I know I've said that already, but it's worth emphasizing because truly, this is a different vehicle. So what we're gonna do is, oh, I caught. Oh, there we go. Just the shape of that rock is unfortunate. Ah, oh, that was an unfortunate accident. Well. We'll drive it as it is. It is a test. Cool, it recovered. Look at that. No intervention needed. I will include these wheels and these tyres again on my next tyre test. We'll just bring it around. Because it wasn't entirely fair to the Nitto Grapplers being on plastic wheels, beadlocked though they were. Oh, this thing's nice. Now, I actually suddenly like this thing as a crawler. It's such a significant difference. My goodness. They didn't get a maybe a fair shake at the tire test. Oh no. This is ugly. I wonder if we can recover it here. We've got time? Yeah, we do. We've got a minute and a half. I'm gonna take a reverse. Oh, it recovered. I said this recently with another vehicle on this course. It was the Gen 8 V2. Modern rigs, even modern rigs that struggle. They just conquered this in a way that older trucks couldn't. So that was a time of 3.59. We only had a few gate touches and reverses. It's a different truck. <laughs> now that's what I call a difference. Not only did this thing perform better, I think it looks a whole lot better too. Hey, check that out. The whole vehicle just feels heavier now as well. I mean, it is, it's nearly half a kilogram heavier, but it just went so much better. I can't really recommend this enough. The wheels I'm using, it's these. They're, um, I got them from AliExpress. They're, well, they simply say 110 model car wheel 26 millimeter. I got them from the Enjora store. I'll put it up on the screen how much they were, but for what you get, they really weren't much. So if you have an SCX 10.3 and you, like me, were just not impressed with its crawling ability, even sticking with these original tires, which would be a logical thing to look at, change the wheels, get some weight under it. I mean, it was night and day that difference, wasn't it? Um, the next thing we're going to do, I think, is stick on the uh, portal outers. We're going to stick a little bit of um, we'll stick a little bit of brass. That might be the next thing we test, and then I'll come back and drive that same course again, and we'll, we'll compare the scores and the time. This thing's heavier, it's faster, it's easier to control, and of course that means everything wears more slowly. The battery life is better. The motor doesn't get as hot, the steering servo doesn't get as hot. The whole machine just has an easier time of it with a little bit more traction 
thanks to the weight on each corner. Now you also might want to have a look at this video next and I have the tire test series and the SCX10 review series uh, down in the description. So take a look at that. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful or interesting, particularly if it blew your mind, um, throw me a like. Throw me a like even if you just enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me on the rocks and I'll catch you next time on RCTNT.